know this stuff is toxic, right? Well, we can't just keep dumping it wherever on the facility. We've had another accident, and thank God he's only a cripple. Or, uh, is it cheaper for the company if they're killed outright? Listen, if the EHA ever heard of any of these incidents, we'd be closed down faster than one of those rockets goes up. So I don't know who the hell that was, but I don't like him very much. I'm gonna go ahead and check. Um, from deleted user to deleted user. So we have no idea who the hell that actually was. And, yep, we got two of these shiny coins now. But hey, we're back at the op station. Restock consumables. Yeah, more parts, thank you. Okay, we got the head and the chest all set up here. We can make another arm. Now we got two. We can make a leg. We still need one more leg. And we need 5,910 parts to do it. Good. That's a full suit right there, so let's go ahead and put this on, shall we? What we have here is liquidator armor. It's a little more of the sort of doom aesthetic to it. But the benefit of this armor is increased elemental resistance. What that means to us is you no longer have to worry about being poisoned. Any of that swamp gas stuff we've been dealing with, no longer a factor. Just dump the rest of this in here for later. So yeah. I'm giving up my enhanced agility. You, but it is not recommended that you leave operations. I'm giving up my enhanced agility for this, but the ability to walk around in the toxic swamp without getting uh, health taken away is very much appreciated. So yeah, now I no longer fear these guys. cheap hit because I'm too lazy to actually stop and think that I still am afraid of. there. <laughs> True, but our problems are global. We needed to step up to the plate. I was fortunate in timing and position that I was able to do so, but I wasn't unique in the design. This isn't about personal... Okay, this is a bad place to be right now. place to be. I can barely handle one of these guys, let alone two.
Oh, and that guy's shooting at me. Consumable refill as long as that one dude at the top doesn't kill me, and we might have a fair chance of fighting these guys. That was close. Thank you. Really? You follow me here? You both follow me here? I, I'm actually kind of impressed with the level of tenacity you guys are exhibiting right now. after now because I don't want him to get unstuck and come after me later. Better he dies now. And this is the Fenris A... Is it A1 or A7? A7. It's an axe. It's just an axe. It's a decent one headed weapon. It's actually... Um, Lower impact, lower scaling, and lower uh, energy than the vibro cutter. So I don't know why you would want to use it, but you can if, because it's there. Butterfly weapon is still here. These pockets of gas here actually prevent me from regaining stamina and slow me down, so we have to be careful with them.
Okay, so you pick up the shining coin automatically when these things are destroyed. That's why I wasn't able to find the other one earlier, because I was looking around for the drop, and there wasn't one. So while we're here, let's check out the corroded butterfly. There it is. Another twin rig, this one, basically instead of being fire, it's now razor sharp blades, which honestly, really, really cool, but fire sword. This is a way that we're gonna have to come the other way around. That right there, the screen we were looking at before those two assholes attacked is Project Resolve with us today. Jonah. <coughs> Absolutely. Jonah Gutenberg, who is CEO of Creo, and basically responsible for this whole mess, arguably, since he runs the place. So, as we will later learn, there's really no one person responsible for what happened here. No need to be shy. All right, now listen. I'm sure you're smart enough to realize this area is under lockdown, quarantine, or whatever goddamn excuse they're using to get at me. I need to get out. We have to break this lockdown, and by we, I mean you. Care to tell me who you are? My name is Dr. Chavez, Melissa. Maybe you've heard of me. And no, I'm not lost. I work here. I think that's enough small talk. Now how about getting me out of here? Good plan. It'd be nice if there were more specifics. I'll put this as simply as possible. Enter the largest of the greenhouses. Look for the main console. It's connected to all the systems in this sector. I'm sure you can figure out the rest. Ask nicely and we have a deal. If I hadn't asked you nicely, you'd have known. I'm off. Well, you know where to find me. So, I will say, I like Chavez. She's a bit of a bitch, but honestly, that's not really anything new around here, and to be perfectly frank, considering the circumstances, I'd be kind of surprised if you weren't kind of a dick after everything you've been through. Alright, so these things got taken apart by something. And we've got this hole that we're going to just drop into. Now, the lighting on this uh, on the liquidator suit is a whole lot better, even though you kind of have this lens flare effect in some areas. But the fact that you've got like a big green spotlight that illuminates everything around you, very helpful. Autopsy of number D70739, Clive Henderson. Male, 28. Back, neck, and skull have been opened. Cerebrum, cervical, and thoracic region of the spinal cord are exposed. All neural implants have been removed. This is the seventh victim discovered with a similar pathology, but the perpetrated MO is evolving. The first victim's neural implants were removed with some precision, but in the more recent cases, now tissue damage. Please notice decontamination has been initiated. I interrupted the autopsy there, but whatever. Hazard response squads have been deployed. For your own safety, avoid the following sectors. Laboratories and the greenhouse facility. Oh shit. Wait, what? I lived? Yeah, I kinda wish I hadn't lived there because I was about to happen, but. Oh well. Okay, so I just dropped all the way down back to the start of this area, which I'm not thrilled about. Hey, 7,000 scrap, that's another level. Please remain in operations until quarantine has been lifted. Yeah, we're still nine levels away from the next upgrade. For your own safety, please stay within operations. I 
really do miss having the uh, the ability to read health bars on here, but quite honestly, I do need the uh, the heals and the health and the proficiency more than I need the ability to see what I'm doing. It's counterintuitive as that may sound. Also, this dude isn't, isn't there anymore, that's weird. Okay, so this is another security door that we cannot open, but this is a door we can jump. Pile of scrap metal and... Okay, I have no idea how he got there, but... I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush to rescue him, so you can just hang out there for a while, guy. Laboratories. Fire. That's always good. Some more scrap. As a quick heads up, the maximum proficiency you can get in any weapon type is 20. So being at 11 right now, that's good for us. Even though, obviously, the higher you go, the longer it takes to get to a certain uh, upgrade level. Oh, he just fell into the hole. Never mind. That is another one of those axe thingies that I don't need anymore, so it just converts itself into scrap for me. Not scrap, I guess. It's a technical term. Um, alloys. Or is it alloys? Yeah, it's tungsten alloy. Oh, I have some Mark III. I wonder, wonder where I picked that up. Tag until he comes this way. Resolve version 1.1 toxicity test. Plants. I can't tell if they're dead or not. Resolve toxicity test. Volunteer subject. There's nobody in there, which I would hope is a good thing, but I honestly can't tell anymore. This, I believe, opens up the uh, doors around the corner. And, yeah, more toxicity tests for Resolve. Which again is the project that everyone was hyping up as the thing that's going to save the environment. This right here is a security door. But it's labeled as a path back to ops. So why they would lock off a... Uh, an avenue back to the save room is beyond me. I really do like this suit, even this green isn't really my color. Especially from behind, it kind of has that like Master Chief uh, and Doom sort of armor look to it. Into the greenhouse facility. Yeah, this is the same video we saw earlier outside, so no need to watch it twice. 
And this dude is just hiding in the grass. Scarab arm gear. I'm pretty sure I got the full scarab set at this point. And I got a new weapon, codenamed Siegfried. This is a sort of mace looking weapon. It is a fine bladed cutting tool for use in orbital applications. Super cool gas canister must be occasionally refilled. Oh, okay. Increases maximum health by 10%. This is a DLC weapon, part of the fire and ice pack. It is, I mean, it looks good, but I'm assuming it has like visual effect once it actually gets moving. Okay, it glows blue, that's all I get. Still sticking with my fire sword, thank you very much. So yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but I'll go over it again. Certain enemies in the game have been replaced with upgraded versions holding the weapons that are part of the DLC. Ow. Fucking asshole. Yeah, he's only carrying Mark II alloy, so I'm not sure where I found the Mark III. Where does Ark kind of tricky deciding to attack an armor part of the body because it means that the enemy doesn't get staggered and thus as you're hitting them they can hit you back okay this room is a bitch let's focus for now on killing this dude Vital Injection 3, thank you very much. Okay, that is a drone room that we can't get to right now. But if we skirt this room carefully without triggering that walking dog thing. Yeah, now we got three of these guys to worry about. And that guy ran away. This is going better than I thought it would be, actually. Make sure this guy does not become a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and just beat him up now. in here to worry about? Oh, we have a message terminal. I know the solution is here. It's under my nose. I can smell it. But where? I failed to notice the long-term effects of Resolve. That's on me. 
If Gutenberg and co. hadn't been pushing so hard to start the process, we needed more time to test. Uh, it's too late to cry over spilt milk. I can fix this. Resolve is the solution. I just need to identify the elements that produce the toxicity. So yeah, if I didn't have this suit on, parts of this area and the gas that they produce... Lockdown deactivated. Reinitiating systems would be resulting Attention. in health Access loss. restrictions for this sector have been revoked. Please return to your designated workplaces. Now the problem with that is this is designed to be put into our atmosphere and toxic gases. Oh, and these guys are new. We are carrying liquidator armor and fucking flamethrowers. the bright side they replace the existing enemies that were out here the uh i'm gonna call them the dogs in, in lieu of any other better name for them through the fire that was pretty cool all right so we've unlocked this door to get down to chavez Another one of these fucking assholes. It's very much hit and run tactics with these guys. There we go. We need to find the pipe this goes to. have to stop playing pretty soon because we're pushing four and a half hours on this and I haven't eaten in a while but eh what time is it now can't tell too dark in the room the clock doesn't turn on so let's just carry on fuck you Reclamation Buddy. Now, I'm excited because the Reclamation Buddy, what does that do? I remember which one of these it was. Increases the amount of tech scrap gained by killing enemies. So if you have that on, you get more scrap over time. Very, very nice. I will be putting that on the first fucking chance I can get. As you can imagine, scrap in this game is good to have. Back into the supply tunnels. doing like in context but it hurts like a bitch. It's 
picked up the endurance enhancement as that item that was in the corner that was part of the ambush. Pump station. These guys really want to get into that lab. Doctor, I'm gonna need you to have a mental breakdown on your own time. I got work to do up here. It's just not good enough anymore to have me fired and blacklisted. No. Off with her head. So she can't piss on our parade. Just look at this. Months of work destroyed! This is a nightmare. An utter nightmare! Sorry, I... I'm sorry. I didn't even thank you. Who are you, really? Dr. Chavez. Once, everyone here knew. My team and I were Project Resolve. I helped create it. Ran the labs. But those days are gone. When the problems with Resolve became apparent, I was quickly sidelined. My former colleague was more than eager to put forward his own proposal and take my position. And all the board cared about was that it was cheaper and faster. Nothing else mattered. So you're telling me Resolve is a lie? Oh no. Resolve is still going up. At least for the time being. We'd know if it was something else. But they view it as a relic. And they see me the same way. Because I still believe in it. I know I can make it work. That's why we're here. My team and I share that belief. I heard Resolve is toxic. That this shit has been poisoning us for years. There are no absolutes. Just rose-tinted glasses and shades of grey. Resolve does work. Just not fast enough. It's true. We didn't foresee the side effects to be so... extreme. I could have fixed it. I tried. But Barrett was there waiting. More interested in his own advancement. As soon as I stumbled, he was there to stick the proverbial knife in. So what was your colleague's proposal? I've seen the figures. And believe me, you don't want to know. They seem to have no concept of the catastrophic nature of what they're planning to unleash. Resolve wasn't perfect. But Utopia? It's insanity! He's leading us to the precipice of an extinction-level event! All for the sake of money, time, and ego. You know what's going on here, don't you? My work here is unofficial. I'm no longer part of Creo. The reality is, I don't exist. Whatever happened, it wasn't our doing. I have my theories. But until I have more information, they'll remain my theories. I haven't heard anything from my associates in days. It's anarchy out there. I'm worried that... <sighs> Look, I know. I owe you already. But I need another favor. Depends on the favor. Okay. This chip holds important data. Data that will save resolve. And humanity. I need to trust you on this. I wouldn't survive five minutes out there, let alone make it to the executive forum. You're my only chance to do this. Give it to Bonham or Fox. They're both on the board. It's crucial they get it as soon as possible. Okay, hand it over and it's done. Hurry. We're counting on you. Okay, so that data chip is going to be important later, but for now, it's just going to sit in the inventory for a good long while. This. You can keep the power core, by the way. It is a power Your core. Drone looks like drone. it needs it. That. Hang on a second here. Read this. Something is wrong with the compound. I know the science is right. Everything checks out perfectly. At least at a theoretical level. Of late, though, I've been experiencing a heaviness on the chest. And occasionally when I exert myself, it takes a minute to regain my breath. 
The scans aren't showing anything yet, but I'm beginning to wonder if it's due to working directly with these materials. So yeah, this is when you want to charge a drone that's outside of your radius or like your reach, you can use your drone as like an extension of yourself to get to it. Which then opens up a spot back the way you came to this area right here next to the uh, op station, which is very convenient. Now there are two more drone hookups in this area that I can check out. And I'm going to go ahead and try to blow through this quickly so I can get to them. One was in this area. I think I gotta go out from below actually. Hang on a second. There we go. Power circuit bypass, this door opens, and inside we get... Oh shit! Um... Many voltaic injection. Uh, one of the heads of the security guard saying oink. I mean hell, this guy could have lasted in here for a good long while. He had a vending machine. could have cracked that thing open and had enough food to last him a good long while, but something got to him in here and whatever it was, was kind enough to lock the doors behind it. Okay. There's one more place to go, and it's right down this elevator. say the occasional double damage attack is going to offset the uh, for the most part offset the lack of damage compared to the usual vibro sword hot surface do not touch no kidding because I have not yet visited the off station since I did all this, the enemies down here should still be dead. And will not bother me as I'm going in here to do this last drone room. Yeah, it's clear. Thank you. The Modaxinol Injector. This implant is kind of interesting actually. What it does is it makes enemies move slower but consumes your health for five, five points per second. It's kind of like bullet time but it doesn't actually affect the way like the game moves. It makes the enemies attack slower. I was kind of hoping it would be more like bullet time but when it didn't actually make the world go any slower around me, I was like, hey, this thing is broken, and I had to stop using it. Now, if the word Modaxinol triggers anything in you, you are more observant than I was, because Modaxinol is the name of the... I could have taken the shortcut, damn it. I just realize it now. Modaxinol is the name of the uh, medical implant that Deity was asking you to look for. So what happened was, I stopped talking to Davy after I came down here, thus I was never able to finish the quest, and Davy basically eventually just disappeared, went off looking for the uh, mask on his own, 
and he apparently died, but I never found his body. But now that I can actually claim the quest, we'll get an item out of him, which is better than leaving it unfinished. Actually, I want to check on one thing real quick here. Just hang on for a second, guys. Okay, no, hang on, never mind. Sorry, I was checking to make sure I wasn't about to miss anything important, but I'm not, so we're good. Okay, yeah, already came this way. So, let's head back in here, cash in whatever gear we've got. This is not a scheduled break time. Yeah, I don't have enough tungsten alloy to upgrade this to the next level. And we're not really going to need to upgrade the liquidator armor at any point, so what we've got now is going to be fine. Alright, so I'm going to give up one of my uh, three heals in exchange for the Reclamation Buddy. So now all future scrap gains will be plus 20%. Definitely good to have. Be careful out there. Next stop, Central Production B, outbound trains. So yeah, Central Production B is the area that all other areas link to, so it's kind of your hub world. It's easily the biggest area in the game by far, because every time you come back there's new stuff waiting for you. And hey, item. Pile the scrap metal. You've heard me say it again and again, but Creo cares. So here's something you might want to keep an eye out for, in addition to all the shit moving around. Is as we come across this enemy up ahead, notice that they do not get along with each other. And I get the credit for the kill, which is also good. So if you let them go off over there, they're going to kill each other. And save me the hassle of having to do it myself. Alright, let's get at this. Finale Mark 2. Still not at the Mark 3 yet. And here's another one of these giant assholes. And then more of that gas that slows you down. That's always fun. so I can actually get at this guy. There we go. Ow. That gas is a pain in the ass.
damn it, why won't you die faster? faster fight. Oh shit. That attack is usually a killer. Okay, I think I'm figuring it out now. The gas is coolant and it's slowing me down. That's what's happening. But hey, I got the Shining Coin out of that, that's good, and this Endurance Enhancer. If I ever put that on, it would be very useful. No, no, no. Okay, so, he dies, I don't. Good stuff. God damn you assholes. Mark three gear for upgrades, which is great. Thankfully, I spent enough time in here on my last playthrough that I don't have to worry about this too much. Let's take a closer look at one of these tools. This one is hot out of orange. Designed for a critical power loss, an operator can use the inducer to instantly transfer energy to the failing system or unit, completely recharging it. This is essential in our space operations, where even electrical fluctuations can lead to death or injury within seconds. If you can imagine it, Rio can design it. Although Project Resolve has grabbed most of the headlines, don't forget, Creo consumer products are in millions of homes the world over. What would we do without Creo? So, I like how they're advertising a weapon that you can't actually get in the game, because that's just a... What's the word I'm looking for? Is it cock keys? I'm gonna go with cock keys. I mean, you're showing off this awesome, like, electric, like, el electricity gun, basically. And you can't possibly use it, because there's no long-range weapons in this game. Right arm is unshielded, so we're gonna go after it. that blue room for now. First I'm gonna grab this and let Happy it play. Happy birthday, little brother. Hope you're doing okay. We haven't heard from you in a while. Your work taking over again. I know the added responsibility will take a while for you to get used to. It's not really in your nature to be the boss man. Seriously though, we appreciate everything you're doing for us. Don't think we don't. You're always in our thoughts and prayers. Mom misses you madly, of course. Her will broken. We all miss you. Enjoy your party and the cake. You're the best. Love, Peggy. So that right there is Ferguson's sister. So at least not everybody hates Ferguson. His family can stand him, so... He's not completely irredeemable, but it just makes all the shit that happens to him so much worse. Oh god damn it, oh they wrecked me. To be fair, there are five of these guys in the same room. Six if you count the one that I killed already. Okay, thankfully it does not start me all the way back. I know, I know. At the it's last ops room you were at. That little, not so much a cut scene, but that scene of the, uh, the liquidators coming through and cleaning house. It does not happen again. Research. 
research and development on the wall. The deployment of the atmosphere has led to some new innovation. Okay, let's try this again, maybe with a little less death. Oh, and this dude's got something special for me. to bet this is another one of those uh, DLC weapons. Yep, the MG Vigilance, which is a giant fucking flaming sword. Another reclamation buddy and an audio I noticed log. some irregularities during my last review. There seems to be significant aberrations in the payload dispersal unit. My first course of action was to inform my supervisor, considering the matter closed. But here it is again. It's infuriating. My only conclusion is there are problems down the line. Unless changes have been made and we have not been notified, which is completely unacceptable. But every time I raise the matter... these assholes have all packed in close proximity. Now immediately after the uh, heartwarming letter from Ferguson's sister, we've got Screw Ferguson, keep your cake, that's what you get. Like, holy shit, guys. I mean, I know you don't like your boss, but maybe chill out a little bit. Unless that's, like, part of, like, like I want to say it's part of the psychosis everyone's having, that, like, the neural links are making them all go crazy. But, I mean, they hated him even before this. There we have to go after. Yeah, he's got no unarmored bits. Emergency cool event. Sure, why not? Mr. Ferguson. Creo is a company with a global reputation to uphold, and the employees under your supervision have not only broken company policy, but also numerous federal laws. 
Still, as you have repeatedly assured us of their reliability and are willing to answer for these individuals, we have decided not to pursue this further. But be assured, we will not accept any future transgressions. As a part of Creo's administrative team, we know we can trust you on this matter. There are plenty of good men out there in need of work. Something you should also remember. Sincerely, Jay Connolly. Damn, Ferguson just gets constantly shafted. Okay, so yeah, we need to get upstairs. And then there's a drop down we can use to get to that last fucking house. So I could jump that and get around them, but let's just take them head on. 